Hey guys, the name. Hey guys, my name's Mac. I'm Matt's mechanic. I have been since he bought this beast right here. He's BT50 brand new. Um, I've been servicing it and looking after it uh, for probably a couple, two years now. Um, and today, Matty's away at the moment, but today I'll be fitting a two inch lift kit to his BT just to try and compensate for all that weight he's got in that rear canopy. Um, and also just to compensate for a bit of the bull bar and the winch he's got fitted up in the front. So I'll give you a quick look at the EFS kit that we've got here. So right here, we've got the rear leaf springs. Um, they're a 500 kilogram upgrade in the rear just to cope with all the weight and all the stuff he's added in here onto his canopy, just like his, he'll have a, his rooftop, can, uh, rooftop tent. He's got all his gadgets and stuff that he's got set up in the actual canopy, like his sink and his drawer and his fridge and his fridge slides and all that. Um, and just here, we've got the front coils for the struts. Um, they're a 120 kilogram upgrade just to compensate for the bull bar and the winch he's got fitted. Um, and then they're just there. There are his brand new front struts that we'll be fitting up and there's his rear shocks that we'll be fitting up. Um, and then just over here, we've got the brand new rear greasable shackles for his leaf springs and then the front, sh um, front leaf spring pins that are also greasable. Um, and there's all his new bushes and his U-bolts to be bolting those um, new leaf springs back in. <laughs> So I thought we'd start with the front struts. So to get this front strut out, we're gonna to have to remove this pin here with that nut, get that um, tie rod end and rack end out of the way. And I'll have to undo this nut here to get the uh, sway bar link out of the way. Um, and then we'll have to, I'll just remove this sensor just for a safety precaution so I don't damage it, the ABS sensor. Um, and then if you look up here, I'll have to pull out the that pin there and the, the nut to the top ball joint, give that a whack, get that all swung out of the way. Um, just enough to then get in here and get to this bolt down here um, for the bottom of the strut and then the three at the top and then there should be enough flex in that bottom arm just to flex down just to walk that um, front strut out and then yeah. Hey guys, just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on uh, what not to do and what to do when putting together the new struts. Um, so if you take a look right here, I'll just go and show you. So you want to make sure when you're putting your spring in your spring compressor, it's all nice and straight. When you're not, you know, all these um, all these fingers are nice and compressing it evenly. You don't want any uneven pressure on it because if the spring shoots out, good luck to you. But yeah, and also when grabbing a new strut, especially when it's freshly out of a box. Um, you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf for, laying on its side. It's not how they're meant to sit. So you always give them a good, you push them between your feet, give them a good few compressors just to make sure there's no air left in them from laying on their side. Um, that's just a good good bit of general practice that I've always been taught. So yeah, just give them one or two good pressures all the way down to the bottom and back. Um, and yeah, and then they should be good just to, sw just to whack back in. Um, and the good thing with these because they're an upgraded lift, they come with their new strut tops um, and all their new bushes and everything. So yeah, I'll show you how it all goes together.
<rire> Billy Bax. Rollback test, do the steering, do this check with the this, the lasers up there. We'll check all the adjustments we need to do, um, and yeah, we'll is see it, how it's all done. Is it important to do a wheel alignment after, or can you get away with not doing uh, it? It is important because if you don't do a wheel alignment, like mate, like I could put all these sensors on, the wheel alignment could be perfectly fine. But if you don't do a wheel alignment, so you don't get it checked, and it is out, your tires can scrub out from the inner or the outer edge. 
um, or they can what's called sculping, which is where they kind of wheel like that, and then your tires get really noisy and you're pretty soon. So if you need a wheel on, where can you go? Always there, <laughs> Uh, g'day guys, uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we filmed that episode, um, just finishing off the little outro now, as you can see the lift is still sitting fantastic, we've driven from Melbourne down up to, sorry, up to Queensland to see some rallies for Christmas and um, yeah, sitting fantastic, road fantastic, uh, it's definitely not as floaty as it was with the, with the weight in the back so you know if you are doing a canopy or, or even just putting a tray and a, something on the back you know, do see a reputable dealer about uh, suspension upgrades and that because it really does help a heap. Um, always there, Automotive are such a great crew to work with. They've looked after my car since brand new and oh, I've never had an issue. So I highly recommend them, those guys. Awesome. So uh, now all the build's done, let's get on to some touring. So stay tuned and uh, those videos will be coming up soon. Catch ya. Well, no.